history is the most fundamental part of our history. Because everything that we believe in today is by what? Faith. So when somebody can take time to research and to study, to copy a paperwork and to read the Bible and to come and prove it here in the Bible, that's why we have to honor our that's right. <laughs> All right, so um, Shalom. So um, myself, we're Shalom. So we're going to touch on um, a small portion of marriage. Versus that, so we want to back them with some history, right? Because the brothers that will stay, stay, will leave it, leave it. And for the rest, who come up after me? Ben, you coming up next, right? And that's it. Okay, because we're asked to hurry up a little bit here, schedule. All right, so when you come up, brothers, don't move as much as Ash do. Because we're videoing. Yeah, the video stick is right there. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. And I'm, yeah, not gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sweating, turning down everybody. So just find one place or sit one place for me if you can. Huh? So as we're going into marriages, in terms of, when you look in the West world, our um, divorce rate, they said is 87%. Which, that came in from I know it came in early, but when I see the hatred that go against us as a nation of people is when that movie came out, The Color Purple. Who remember that movie? He said that, I only watch one, I can't watch the second one. So The Color Purple, they said the year was 1901. So even that year, when um, the man married Whoopi Goldberg, or he treated her, and for Oprah even to produce that movie, it bring a lot of stuff in black woman mentality then. You understand me? But for me, it was gruesome when I watched it in the early 90s, right? So when you look at other cultures, other history, you see marriage. They said today, Pakistan is a country that 92% of the marriage rate in Pakistan is families. Because Pakistan is the highest rate for that. In terms of if you know I married a bad daughter, I will not treat her bad, right? I will not call her a bitch, right? So Pakistan keep the marriage close amongst them in terms of they do interfamily marriage. But you know we have a Torah, we have a laws, we have custom, brothers and sisters, right? Somebody get me Deuteronomy 32 verse 7 quickly. Deuteronomy 32 verse 7 quickly. Read as soon as I get there. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, and verse 7. Read on. Remember the days of old. Remember the days of what? Old. Read on. Consider the years of many generations. Consider the years of many generations. Read on. Ask thy father, and he will show thee. And we will turn back to the Bible. That's why Ash was stressing that history class. Can? Can. So we have a proper way of Sister Shara teach earlier how we should be birth. You understand me? And how involved. The community and a family is in giving birth. Priest Ekanan mentioned the importance of death and you don't lose no organs. Right. Do you understand me? We are the only people in this earth allow the enemy to do a funeral. Nobody else do that. How many Chinese funerals you see that you're born in America? Hindu. Do you understand what I'm saying? So we the only one. So that's why I bring on the history now where we have to go back to the days of old in terms of why marriage is not working today. Because nobody teaches how to be a good husband and sister. And know your desire is Jesus. You want to marry Jesus. As soon as you're single, my husband is Jesus. If you don't believe a man should have more than one wife, but Jesus of all of you single women. Right? So and we have a all the brothers. We apologize for that. Can nobody teach us how to be a good husband? Nobody teaches us how to be a good father. Likewise, you. Nobody teaches you how to be a good wife. Nobody teach you to do, be a good mother. You, you, you follow what you see. 
as you go along. Don't we all do? So that's why we in the truth now we see brothers, we see sisters, we reason with each other, and we have a better understanding of it. I travel. So while on my journey, I see other marriages work. In Africa, marriage work. Do you understand me? In Africa, a woman cannot leave her house unless she marry. A woman cannot leave her father's house unless she's what? Married. So she will come to your house, but by the nightfall, she's going back to her house. You understand me? In, in the African, all the African countries, they still keep the custom of diary and marriage is close to the family. They call our marriage white marriage. That's what they call it. Yeah. They don't go by that. That's just, that can happen somewhere else. But the marriage in Africa is done in the house. What time? Six, seven o'clock in the morning. So if everything has to do with family. So if I see a woman in any one of these African countries and I choose to marry them, I have to go to my father, the head of the family. And I come and I say, Raka, I desire one of you and daughter to marry. What Raka have to do, Raka have to get somebody with him, and they go to the Akanan house. That process they call the knocking process. You have to knock the door. You have to knock to meet him. What's the purpose? You have to call for a gift, two bottles of wine, and two hundred dollars. I say, I bring a gift. My son see the daughter, my son desire to marry the daughter. That's the first process. The father decision after that should be, Give me 21 days to do an interview and your family and go back home. So when you can do that interview now, if you can see, I have three and four baby mother out there, the question would, what would stop her daughter from being the fifth baby mother? I'm not going to marry you. I will not give my daughter to your son. So the only thing that will return is about the mind. The money is yours. That's the first process. <laughs> The second process now, you can then see me and say, hey, look at my tattoo. Rip it down, Santa Salomon 1 verse 5. You come with a name, I'm humble and nice. Okay, we'll go marriage. We accept. And that 21 day, when the family now have to go back to Raka and say, we accept the son in our family, they will give Raka a list. You give a list to somebody passes over. So now, the list, let me just put up the list. Huh? No, I'm not living in Africa. <laughs> right? So now, the family will go back to Raka and said, okay, my family now accept your son. We will do the marriage. So it's better than you have to tell Raka the date of the wedding. And it cannot be more than six months. Right? So when when you can go to Raka and I said, we'll marry December 25th. Everything on this list. And the day of the wedding, the son and Raka and their family head should bring to the girl house six or seven o'clock in the morning. So then bring these gifts to the house. Even in the scripture, you see wedding take place early in the morning too. Okay, everything done in the house. After that procedure, if you're going for the marriage license, I could not go. Rata could not go. It has to be Nathan and Daughter, wife, mother and father go for the wedding. Because if I go there, I say, go get the girl here. And in Ghana culture, the African culture, they said the father don't agree with the wedding is a person. It will not work. So the father have to be involved. Right? So that's the first stage. So when you go now, you see on this? The bride price is based upon education. The higher the education, the more the bride price will be. And they have a custom. They will not charge you because you're American. <laughs> Do you understand me? Yeah, you don't get that. They have a custom. This is the Akan tradition. So Akan have more than 70 tribes. So all the Akan tribes is under this banner. So you see on it, they said the bride price 
You bring this and this, so they raise it. So it was 200, now it's 500 kind of CDs. It's like maybe 40 American dollars. That's the gift, right? Then he said you have to buy the father gift. You have to buy the mother gift. You have to give all the wife, brother something, and they will ask you, do you know why we do this? When they said no, they said, when Abraham sent for Rebecca, Isaac sent Levan gift, right? So you have to give all the brothers. If she have 10 brothers, they have to get something, right? You have to buy the mother material. You have to give the girl a suitcase. You have to pick out the suitcase now. She can pack her stuff from her house to your house. So the, the whole process will last about two hours. After all this happened, you now the girl family have to put on a party. That's where you have reception. The food, the entertainment, everything that's on the other side of family. So when we're doing the process you now, the elders will come. Um, they will tell you the girl is coming out now, so she'll come out dancing, dress in their native custom clothes. And when she come out now, they will ask her, they will ask you, is this the woman you come for? We said yes. They ask you, why? Do you know why we ask you? I, I don't know. They said because when Jacob went, Jacob get the wrong wife. Right? So they said, sure. So when they ask the woman, no. They ask the woman, do you want to go with this man? The woman said yes. The elders then say, what if we stop you from going? The woman reply is, I will run away with him. And all the elders make an agreement. No, you say that there's no need for you. There's nothing made for you. That you will sit in front of all of us and let us know if we stop you, you will run away with him. Then the elders will ask question. Right? Uh -huh. Did you sleep with this woman before you come to us? Nobody will lie there because everything is open and they respect elders and chiefs and leadership. So the doctor will say yes. That's a problem. The father know my son of mine said, Oh, you like to come to your house and take your daughter from So no, that's a different charge for Kahan. By sleeping with the man daughter, we don't come to the parents. So they will charge him for stealing. They will charge him, they say, you steal from me. So you have to pay the father then and then for anything we can <laughs> And what price the father put out. So even in Africa itself, even if you don't go through that process and say, Shalom, I see a woman out there and nobody going to the parents, and the parents are weird that Shalom sleep with that woman, even when paid the father. And trust me, the parliament is more expensive than a wedding. And there's no one they cannot run away, they are paid. So I say all that to say this, that work for them as a nation of people, in terms of, it's a contract, and family, no family, and everything is tight knit. Do you understand me? So even when you go back to the Bible, you will see Isaac, how many gifts did he send for Rebecca? Did he know Rebecca before? Never know Rebecca before. So that's why even in Israel today, we have to condemn girlfriend and boyfriend if we're going back to Zion. The scripture said the saints coming marching in. So how are the saints coming marching in? And keep in mind, in the Torah, diary is a law. Isn't it? So now, I speak to brothers and sisters. I have some brothers in California, I speak with them. The sisters and say we have no father. So that's where the elders of the schools come in. Because now we have problems in the schools where this brother dating that sister in that school, and then one person will jump from this school, run to that school, no commitment. So we have to sit down as leaders and parents that our children don't make the same mistake that we make. And by implicating back these laws, that's a step going forward, brothers and sisters. Because even amongst Israel today, you have sisters of three or four, five, six, seven husbands in the tree. You have brothers of three, four, or five, or six wife in the tree. The next step in Ghana is, 
if I marry the sister here and I die, she has to marry my brother. That's a lot here too. She cannot marry for a year. And when your time is ready to marry again, my brother is first in life. But you know what the next thing is? If I marry her and she died, the family will give me the sister. If the sister don't have children, I'm married for anybody else. It's active there. It's well known. It's renowned there. Do you understand me? So even if the sister marry me and I die, she has to wear black for a whole year. For everybody to see she's a A whole year she has to wear black. So by traveling, you see, if they have problem within their marriage, the council have to be with all the family city. If the family cannot resolve it, they'll go to the chief. The chief will never give you a marriage, a divorce. The ice law rate there is that you can part it for two years and work on your marriage, but the chief will not give you a divorce. After you sleep with her, you men know what you do with that woman. What I want her to do. So they can tell you, the husband can stay up with us for two years, but when he come back two years, you have to accept him back in the house. And their custom work. Wherever they go, when they come to America, do they stay in a house, 10, 20, 30 of them? As a family. It worked for them. So what can we adapt from that to work for us? When we read the scripture, where's my yeah. Yes, continue. All right. All right, so he gave a, a lot of information, huh? All right, so we're going to go to a few scriptures showing that their customs in Ghana are based, right, on the customs that we had in Israel, right? Because, you know, we passed on customs by mouth. So because we passed on, we, 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 uh, we, we uh, taught one generation, another generation, it changes a little. But you can find the foundations of what they do in the scriptures. So I pull the first scripture, it's uh, Genesis 24, and I want to start with verse 26. Right. So what's happening in Genesis 24? Isaac sends his servant, right? No, Adam, Abraham, sorry, sends his servant to find a wife for Isaac. Right? Isaac finds Rebecca at the well. Right? And he notices out of what he was told that she fit the description of a good woman, the woman that he was sent to find for his master Abraham. So when he found the woman and she he saw that. She fit the description, he started to praise the most high. So we'll start with Genesis 24, and verse 26. See that? Genesis chapter 24, verse 26. And the man bowed down his head and worshiped the most high. Right. And he said, Blessed be Yahweh, the power of my master Abraham, who hath not left destitute my master of his mercy and his truth. Right. I being in the way of the most high led me to the house of my master's brethren. Go ahead. And the damsel ran and told them of her mother's house in sin. So the first thing he did was praise the Most High, bless him, that he found what he was looking for. Right? He found the wife for Abraham's son Isaac, which was a big deal. This is why what what, what Matthias is talking to us about in Ghana, this is something the whole village gets involved in. This was not a small thing. It wasn't a private thing. It wasn't that, you know, it was just two people, we don't know what they do. He said, they elope. We text don't elope. Message. Text message. Right? That's nonsense. We don't get married over Facebook either, right? The family is involved in our marriages, right? The family is involved because we're, we are, we are mastered a weighty matter, right? This is a big deal. Bring that down. Give me um, Sarah. Seven. Could I get one in Genesis? Get Genesis 31, 15. Okay. Genesis 31, 15, and then the takes her up. Genesis chapter 31, verse 15. Really? Are we not counted of him strangers? Mm -hmm. For he hath sold us and hath quite... Start from 14. Verse 14. This is when Jacob ready to leave his father also. This is what the wife said. Okay, next thing in Ghana too, when you pay the diary for a woman and the parents took that diary, 
If the man is going to the moon, guess who have to be there with him? The woman. Whatever religion the man is, guess who have to be a part of that religion? The wife. Even when she marries, she has to dress different. She has to wear a scarf to let the world know she's married. Right? So read that quickly for me. Huh? Genesis chapter 31, verse 14. Mm -hmm. And Rachel and Leah answered and said to him, Is there yet any portion or inheritance for us in our father's house? Read. Are we not counted of him strangers? Read. For he hath sold us and hath quite devoured also our money. Same thing in Ghana today, brothers and sisters. Right? Same thing in Ghana today. So I'm going to, they said we have to wrap up, so I'll give Shalomar the last 30 minutes. So look on the list, and Shalomar will go more in the scriptural part. But as a congregation head, it's time we have to take control over this, because you know counseling is a stressful, you go hungry and everything. So we have to hold on to that, so we have to get back this, under this banner and this condition, brothers and sisters. Every brother, if you don't pay dowry for your wife, is it really your wife? It's a Torah law. Because I know you push that sex is marriage, that's part of it. So what about the jury? Oh, you went past the jury process and go sleep with the man daughter and say, that's my wife. Did the father give you permission? All right, can you pay the 50 shekels? The 50 shekels today is equivalent to over 5,000 American dollars. Right? So that's my time, brothers and sisters. We'll speak more on this topic uh, going forward. When the class finishes, ask a question, please. I just want to give Shalaman some time. All right, Shalaman, go ahead, finish up. Get about it. But uh, we'll, we'll, I'll talk a little bit about marriage. Don't blame but me. I, <laughs> you got to. Right? But I'll, I'll, I'll attempt to connect what he was talking about to the scripture.